All right, class. Did you know that ant eaters eat 35,000 ants a day? Make sure you write that down, class. Take notes. 35,000 ants a day? Hey, Cody, doesn't your mom have to eat like 35,000 pounds of fat every day? Junior, these insults are just getting lazy now. Can I borrow a pencil? Junior, you just insulted my mom. Why would I give you a pencil? Because I have to take notes. I don't have another pencil. I had two and one of them's missing. Hey, Joseph, can I borrow a pencil? Dude, I just stole this one from Cody. What, Joseph? Well, you aren't using it. <sighs> hey, Pencelope, can I borrow a pencil? No, Junior, get your own. Ugh, I'm going to have to borrow a pencil from Roy. Roy? Junior, Roy's too cool to give you one of his pencils. Yeah, dude, if he actually gives you a pencil, that means you're cool. Well, I'm going to ask him. Oh, Roy, you're so cool. I know. Ay, Roy, muy caliente. Yeah, I don't know what you said, but I like Taco Bell, too. Um, excuse me, Roy, your coolness? Oh, what are you doing here, loser? Ew, Roy, why is he talking to you? I don't know, babe. What do you want, dweeb? I, I was just wondering, could I borrow one of your pencils? Oh, no, these girls bought me these pencils. Why would I give one to you? Roy, get him to go away. Yeah, can you go away, loser? Well, I just I just need to borrow a pencil. Can I just borrow one? Absolutely not. Go away. Uh, What'd he say, Junior? He said no. See, I told you you weren't cool enough to get one of his pencils. Yeah, Junior, Roy's just too cool. <sighs> hey, is this Jackie Chew's class? <gasps> Dude, that's PJ Crenshaw! Jamie James Crenshaw? Pair Jamie's Crenshaw? No way! PJ Crenshaw? What are you doing here? I thought you were homeschooled by your mom. Yeah, but I got kicked out of homeschool for sleeping with the teacher. He's so cool, dude! I want my mom to be his teacher. I want him to be my dad. I want him to be my husband! Well, PJ, sit any way you like. Cool. PJ Crenshaw? Hey, get out of my seat. But, but, but this is my seat! Not anymore. It's PJ's seat now. Ladies, you can stay. <coughs> but, but ladies, I'm cool! You're not cool anymore! <laughs> You ladies want a sip of my Capri Sun Roaring Waters? Yeah! Dude, PJ just made Roy uncool! There's always a bigger fish. Wait, so Roy's not cool anymore? No, Junior, look, it's basic math. PJ is so cool that anyone he says isn't cool isn't cool anymore. And so he said Roy's not cool, that means that Roy is no longer cool. Well, what if I ask PJ for a pencil? Well, Junior, if Roy wouldn't give you a pencil, I doubt you could even get PJ to look at you. Yeah, you're pushing it, dude. Well, I'm gonna shoot my shot and ask. Oh, ask for his number for me! No! PJ? I like your PJs. Yeah, me too. That's why I wear them. Yo quiero, PA. Um, excuse me, PJ Crenshaw, pair of Jamie's Crenshaw, Jamie Jam's Crenshaw. Ew, PJ, why is this loser talking to you? Ladies, ladies, that's harsh. Let's hear what the little man has to say. Um, I was wondering, your coolness, if I could borrow one of your pencils? Psh, yeah, like PJ would let you have one of his pencils. Hey, hey, PJ makes his own decisions. Yeah, sure, you can borrow one. <gasps> really? Yeah, but I want it back later. Uh, okay, um, which one can I borrow? Uh, not that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. Yeah, you can have that one. Oh, okay, th thank you so much, PJ. I I'll take good care of it. So, Jenny, what'd he say? I bet he said no. Guys, he let me borrow one of his pencils! What? PJ Crenshaw's pencil? Oh my god! Let me taste it! I wanna taste it! Crenshaw. Well, guys, I have to take care of this pencil. You know, PJ's so cool and he let me borrow it, so I can't let anything happen to it. I gotta get pajamas like Crenshaw. I used to be that cool. Cross, cross, settle down, settle down. I know PJ Crenshaw's cool, but we gotta focus because I want his autograph first. Can I get your autograph? Can I get your autograph? Sign my butt. Sign my butt. Yes, yes, yes. Remember that time where I got to go to the Super Bowl and I didn't have to pay for anything? I'm cool, right? Is he asleep? Of course he is! He's PJ Crenshaw! Yeah, he can sleep anywhere in his PJs. Yeah! Guys, guys, leave him alone, let him sleep. Aww. Ooh, I think PJ drooled on me. Really? Lucky? Oh, where? Right on my face. Oh, yeah. yeah, right there next to my mouth. Whoa, guys! What? Have you guys seen PJ's pencil they let me borrow? No. Dude, you lost PJ Crenshaw's pencil? Well, well, it was right here and now I can't find it. Junior, you're gonna be so uncool. Well, good guys, 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 did one of you guys take it? No. No! Well, good guys, it was right here and now I can't find it. Is it on the ground? Oh, where is it? Junior, you better find that pencil before tomorrow. Yeah, you're gonna be so uncool, dude. Oh, okay, okay, look, uh, I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm looking for it. Uh, uh. All right, Crass, that's the end of the lesson for today. Crass dismissed. You can go home. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Where's that pencil? <laughs> Junior, just look for it tomorrow before school. Junior, stop throwing desk. Leave the classroom now. But I gotta look for my pencil. Come on, Junior. Uh.
Oh, guys, I'm so screwed. I don't know where that pencil is. Yeah, Junior, if you don't find that pencil, PJ Crenshaw's gonna say you're uncool. Yeah, and if PJ Crenshaw says you're uncool, we can't hang out with you anymore, dude. Yeah, we'd be uncool by association. Well, well, guys, what if I just go to the store and buy a new pencil and say that's the pencil he let me borrow? Dude, PJ would know. Yeah, you can't pull a fast one on PJ Crenshaw. I just don't know where that pencil could've went. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, maybe it's PJ. Hello? Hey. Wait, Roy, what are you doing here? Don't you have like a bunch of girls to hang out with? Yeah, I got plenty of girls to hang out with. They're just busy. Are they with PJ Crenshaw? Yeah, but, 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 but I don't care. I don't care if they hang out with him. Okay, well, what are you doing here? Well, I just want to come by and hang out with the boys. But we're not your friends. Sure we are. Remember all the good times we had? No. Uh, well, anyway, can I come in and talk to you guys for a minute? <sighs> Make it quick, Roy, but then you gotta get out of my house. Sweet. Who was at the door, Junior? It was Roy. Roy? Roy, Roy, Roy. Who's Roy? Oh, Roy. Wait, that loser? what he want? What's up, guys? Oh, what's Roy doing here? Oh, you're so uncool, Roy. Well, you guys used to think I was cool. Remember when I went to the Super Bowl and I didn't have to pay for anything? Yeah, we heard it before, dude. Yeah, you can't keep milking that forever, Roy. Well, what about the time I got three girls pregnant? Cool story, bro. Yeah, not impressive. Uh, Roy, you might as well just get out of here. All right, well, if I get out of here, how will you find this? <gasps> PJ's pencil? <gasps> you criminal, you! you you scoundrel! Well, why would you steal that pencil from me? Well, because if I can't be cool, then you can't be cool. Well, but you can't do that, PJ. PJ needs that pencil back. Look, I'll do anything to get that pencil back. All right, well then teach me how to be cooler than PJ Crenshaw. Okay, first of all, you will never be cooler than PJ Crenshaw. And also, we're not cool. How are we gonna make you cool? I don't know, just like, think of something. I don't know, I just wanna be cool again. Wait, wait, I, I got it, guys. What if Roy challenges PJ Crenshaw to a cool off? Like a cool battle, and they see they see who's the coolest. I would like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a good idea. Oh, who's that? Oh, oh, let me answer the door. Hello. Hey. What, PJ Crenshaw? What are you doing here? I'm here for my pencil. Uh, well, uh, I don't really have your pencil. You don't have my pencil? Oh, no, I lost it. You better give me that pencil. Oh, oh okay. Look, I know where it's at. Really? Why didn't you just say so? Well, because Roy took it. Oh, that loser. Yeah, he's upstairs. Who's at the door, Junior? It was PJ Crenshaw! Hey, Jimmy's Crenshaw? Jamie James Crenshaw? Yeah! Hey. Hey, PJ! Uh, M Mr. PJ, I just wanted to say that I like your PJs. Can I get any of your PJs? <laughs> I love my fans. Oh, uh, Mr. PJ, uh, Roy stole your pencil! He stole it, he stole it! Hey, it's not cool to snitch. <laughs> and it's also not cool to steal things. I hereby decree that Junior and Roy are very uncool. What? Uh, sorry, Junior, I can't talk to you anymore. Yeah, I can't be seeing what you do. Oh, oh, no, Mr. PJ, please, 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 please don't make me uncool. Did you hear something? No. Ooh, that boy is savage! Oh, Roy, Roy, Roy. Do, do the cool off and say that if you win, we're, we're, we're both cool. All right. Hey, PJ, I challenge you to a cool off, and the winner gets to be the coolest. Did you hear something again? It sounded really uncool. Ooh, that boy don't miss! <laughs> well, Cody, 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 tell PJ that, that, that Roy wants a cool off. I'm not supposed to be talking to you, but okay. Uh, Mr. PJ, Roy wants to have a cool-off to see who's the coolest. <laughs> okay, if he wants to be embarrassed. I'm not gonna be embarrassed. You're gonna be the one that's embarrassed when I prove that I'm the coolest. All right, well, how about this? Whoever loses the cool-off has to leave town and never show their face again. All right, deal. Hello and welcome to the first annual Cool Olympics. Now let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant is Roy Gethard. Oh, stop booing. It's me, Roy. You know, my, my parents own a poodle grooming business. And our other contestant is B.J. Grinshaw, Para Jammies Grinshaw, Jimmy James Grinshaw. All right, settle down, settle down. Damn, he's cool. Our first event is to see who can drink the most Kool-Aid Jammers in 30 seconds. Uh, Kool-Aid Jammers? I only ever drink Capri Sun. You're going down, PJ. On your mark, get set, go! Uh, oh, I can't drink anymore. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. I did it! Uh. The winner is PJ Grinshaw, Farrah Jenny, Grinshaw, Jenny, Dan Grinshaw!
<laughs> too cool for you. I'll beat you in the next game. Our next event is to see who can get to the center of a Tootsie Pop faster. You're going down, PJ. Check out my tongue. Uh... Well, how am I supposed to compete with that giant tongue? Look at my tongue. Uh... <laughs> tiny tongue. How are the girls going to stick around with you with that tiny tongue? <laughs> Ready, set, go! <laughs> All right, I'm done. What? How? Because of this big tongue. Uh... And the winner is Roy Guitar. Looks like we're tied, PJ. And in this final round, you're going down. <laughs> we'll see about that. Well, we're tied going into the final round. For the final game, there will be a girl in the middle of the room. Both guys have to show off how cool they are to get the girl to make out with them. Whoever gets the girl wins! Oh, this is easy. You're going down, PJ. Girls love me. Yeah, right. You saw me steal your girls at school. It'll be that easy. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, this one time, this girl took me to the Super Bowl and I didn't have to pay for anything. Uh, yeah, I've heard your little story. It's really cute. But a real man pays for his own Super Bowl ticket. Hey, you take that back! Ready, set... No! Hey, babe, I got three girls pregnant, and I left them, and I don't take care of the kids. Ooh. Hey, I have three iPhones. You can play on one of them if you want. Ooh. Hey, babe, one time I went to a Super Bowl, and I didn't have to pay for anything. The girl literally flew me first class all the way to Miami. Ooh. Yeah, well, I got AirPods and a PS5. Ooh. Um, um, my parents own a poodle shop, so if you ever want to pet a poodle, then you can come do that. I got some green Play-Doh. You can eat it with me if you want. Oh, oh but babe, the, the Super Bowl, see? Here's the ticket right here. I win. You can't keep milking that for the rest of your life, Roy. <laughs> no! We have a winner! The coolest kid in the world is PJ Crenshaw, pair of jammies, Crenshaw, Jenny Jam Crenshaw. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah? Time to get stepping. Do I really have to go? Yeah, this town ain't big enough for two cool kids. Uh, but where am I supposed to go? Wherever a girl will pay for you. Uh, but what if no girl will pay for me? Don't worry, man. They'll pay for you. Uh, Alright. <laughs> hey. Yeah? Keep your head up, champ. I'll try. That's the end of Roy. He used to be so cool. He'll be cool again in another town. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. Bye. Man, I hate wrapping presents. Hey, Chef BB, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I'm just putting your Christmas gifts under the Christmas tree. <gasps> All of these are my gifts? Mm-hmm. Wait, I only have three gifts for Christmas? That's lame. I mean, Santa's gonna bring you more. Uh, these are just the gifts from me and your dad. <gasps> can I open up one today, please? No, Christmas is only a week away. You can wait a week. Please let me open up one today, please! No, Junior, you're gonna wait a week, okay? What if I open up one while you're in the bathroom? That's why I have this. Wait, what? It's an elf on the shelf, on the table. What's an elf on a shelf, on a table? He just watches and makes sure little boys like you don't open the Christmas gifts before Christmas. What about little girls? It doesn't matter the gender, Junior. How many genders are there? It's only two genders. Actually, there's over 70 genders. I don't care about your conspiracy theories. Look, if this elf catches you open your Christmas gifts before Christmas, he's gonna kill you. <gasps> Kill me? Oh yeah, I've seen it done before. What? Yeah, he killed my twin brother. You had a twin brother? Yeah, I had a twin brother. He opened the Christmas gifts and then it... <sighs> yeah, he got killed. <laughs> so don't open your gifts. He's gonna kill me. Who's that? Uh, hello? Hey, Junior. What's up, dude? Uh, hey, guys. Uh, what are you doing here? What's wrong, Junior? You seem spooked. Chef Pippi just told me something really scary. <gasps> Did he tell you that in 2050, the world population will reach 10 billion people, which means there won't be enough food to feed everybody, which means it'll be a famine, so everybody will kill everybody for food! Well, don't tell me that. I'll be like 60 by then. There's no way I can fight for food. Well, this, oh, guys, what Chef Pippi told me was way scarier than that. What? Really? Yeah, come inside. Okay. All right, dude. Show me what's scarier than world hunger. That 
What? What's that? It looks like an elf on the shelf. It's an elf on a shelf on a table. Chef PB says if he sees me opening up my Christmas gifts before Christmas, he'll kill me. Well then just don't open your gifts before Christmas. Ha! This stupid doll? He's not gonna do anything, dude. He's just as useless as Cody's stupid doll. He's not a doll, Joseph. He's a man with feelings and emotions and five jobs. But but that's just a stupid elf toy. It's not gonna do anything. Wait, that elf is not gonna kill me? No, of course not. He just said that to scare you. What? Yeah, what is this stupid elf gonna do, huh? Huh? What you gonna do, stupid elf? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do, stupid elf? You're not gonna do anything. You guys are right. I shouldn't be scared of that elf. Let's open up my gifts before Christmas. Okay. Why don't you just wait a week and open them on Christmas? I, I didn't know your name was Cody on a shelf. I didn't know you were that lame. Oh, everyone, everyone grab a gift. Let's open them upstairs. Okay. All right, guys. Did everyone grab a gift? Yeah, I got one. Dude, this is gonna be so naughty. Shh. I don't want Shabby to hear us. Come on. Guys, what do you think these gifts are? Take a guess. Ooh, let's see. Oh, definitely Legos. Legos? That's so cool that they got me Legos. Joseph, what do you think that one is? Hmm. 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 Just take a guess, Joseph. Uh, but I don't want to be wrong, dude. I'm trying to get it right. You know, it's your gift. Just, just take wrong. a random guess. Hmm. You know what? I don't even care what your guess is. You know what? I think it's a tennis racket. Well, that's a dumb guess. What? What do you think yours is, Junior? Um. Whatever it is, I hope it's not fragile. Hmm, I think it's a Fortnite toy. Oh, you better hope it's some tennis balls to go with this tennis racket. Well, let's just open it and see what it is. Okay. Guys, I was right! It's a Fortnite toy! Throw, throw, burrito? Cody, you told me that was Legos. That was just a guess. It wasn't a fact. Wow, dude, I was so close with my tennis racket guess. That has nothing to do with tennis. No, no, dude, it is sports related, so I was the closest guess. No, I was the closest guess. I actually guessed that mine was a Fortnite toy. What, Junior, he's not from Fortnite. Yes, he was. He was in the last season. Not everything is from Fortnite. What do you think, Spider-Man's from Fortnite? Yes, and Batman, and Rick and Morty. What, what, no, Junior, those things existed before Fortnite. No, Fortnite made those things. Hey, dude, can I open up your LeBron James and play with him? Yeah, you can open it. I'll open up my uh, Fortnite toy and play with it. I guess okay. I'll open up Throw Throw Burrito. Oh, man, this toy is so cool. <laughs> the storm's coming. <laughs> oh, dude, LeBron's so stretchy. Hey, Cody, don't throw a burrito at me. I'm sorry. That's the name of the game. It's what I'm supposed to do. What if I threw this Fortnite toy at you? Well, that would actually hurt. Ah, ow, Junior. Uh, so you know what? Uh, ow, don't throw burritos at me. You know what? I, uh, I was trying to hit. Ow, you I'll throw a burrito at you. Wait, 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 what was that noise? What was that noise? What was that noise? It sounded like a big bang. What, let's go see what it is. What? Guys, someone knocked over my Christmas tree. Who would do that? Maybe it was the wind. But we're inside. Air conditioners make wind, Cody. I wouldn't exactly call it wind. What would you call it then? Oh, so all the wind outside comes from an air conditioner? Duh, that's why it gets cold in the winter. So there's just a big air conditioner in the sky? Yeah, that's why they call them airplanes. What, what are you talking about? They make the cold air, duh. You're really looking like you want to kiss me right now, Joseph. Just man up and do it. I might just do it. Nah. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. What if it was the elf? This is stupid. It can't do that. It's not real. It can't push over a tree, dude. Yeah, Junior, Joseph's right. It's just a toy. It probably just fell over on its own, you know? If a Christmas tree falls in the living room and no one's around to hear it, does it still make a sound? Yes, that's why we came in here to check out what the sound was. Duh, idiot. But, but, but we were around to hear it, so if we weren't around to hear it, would it have still made a sound? You're right, guys. So that elf didn't do that. Maybe it did just fall over because of the wind. Yeah. So, uh, let's go upstairs and play with my toys. So, Cody, how do you play this burrito game? I think you just throw burritos at people. There has to be more to it. I'm gonna read the rules. <gasps> Guys! The elf! What? I know what you did. He spelled no wrong. What? No, that's how you spelled no. What? No, it's supposed to be spelled K-N-O-W. That would be Kano. No, Junior, when you're saying you know something, it starts with a K. This elf is illiterate. Stop making fun of his height, dude. What do you mean you know what we did? We didn't knock over that Christmas tree. Not, not that? What, what, what is that? You opened your gifts before Christmas? See, oh, Chef Baby is right! He's gonna try to kill us! Dude, that elf isn't real! I'm gonna show you he's not real. What are you gonna do with him, Joseph? Oh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with him. Follow me, dude. There, dude. You don't have to worry about him ever again. But isn't he alive? He's a doll, dude! Yeah, he's just a toy. Well, well then, then how do those papers move? The wind! I told you that! Well, then who wrote on those papers? The wind! How many times am I gonna say it? Oh, okay, I guess let's go play with those toys. 
All right, dude, you won't have to worry about that elf ever again. Oh, the, the elf is back! Yeah, I don't understand it. How is this even possible? How could he possibly have gotten out of the trash can? I don't know. Snap out of it, Cody. Thanks, Junior. But how is this even possible? He was in the trash can. Once you throw something in a trash can, you can never get it back. That's gross. Hand me that stupid elf. I gotta go to extreme measures. Hand him to me. Ooh, I'm getting real tired of you, dude. Well, Joseph, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna cut him into pieces. Apparently, he can walk, but he won't be walking after this. Good thinking, Joseph. I don't wanna watch. Oh, I do. I like seeing stuff like this. Missing limbs. Cut him, Joseph. <laughs> okay, dude. There, cut him into six pieces. He's not coming back after that. That was gnarly. Thanks for doing that, Joseph. Yeah, dude. Now let's go play with your toys. Okay. Well, dude, at least you won't have to worry about that elf ever again. Yeah! Oh, the elf is back! Yeah, how is this even possible? Dude, that elf is alive. He's real. He's gonna kill us. We shouldn't have opened up your gifts. Well, guys, guys, my Christmas gifts can help us kill that stupid elf. Shoot him, Fortnite guy! Jesus Christ, he's bulletproof! Uh, LeBron James, save us! <laughs> okay, okay, there's only one thing that can save us now. Throw, throw, burrito! Oh, man, I suck at this. What do we do? Well, I pissed my pants because of how scared I am. I'm gonna go home and change shorts. But Joseph, what do we do? Well, we gotta call the police, dude! Let's call the cops of that stupid elf! Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, that elf is trying to kill us! What, that elf? That's just an elf on the shelf. It's a little toy that parents pretend is alive to scare their kids or something. Wait, so he's not alive? Oh no, he's just a harmless little toy. Unless you open your Christmas presents early, then he'll kill you. Kill us? Can you protect us? Well, why would I need to protect you? It's not like you guys would open your Christmas presents early. Wait, what's all this wrapping paper about? We opened our Christmas presents early. What are you f***ing crazy? This thing's gonna f***ing murder you! Wait, it is? Oh yeah, of course! I get 911 calls all the time. Oh, my son opened his Christmas presents early and our elf on the shelf murdered him! Oh, God, there has to be something you can do. You have to protect us. You're the cops! Oh, I don't know, kid. This thing won't stop until you're dead. Uh, I guess I could try arresting him. Yeah, I'll arrest him. Put him in the electric chair. Do whatever you have to do! All right, but I can't guarantee that'll protect you. All right, Mr. Elf on the shelf. Or should I say Mr. Elf in the jail cell? All right, come on. Oh, thank God that cop arrested him. Yeah, dude, I think we're safe. Ah! What's that? Let's go see what it is! Ah! Ah! What happened? He was too fast. He stabbed me in the armpit. I think it went in my heart through my armpit. What do we do? There's nothing you can do. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. That elf is batshit crazy. Oh! Why did you have to open your Christmas presents early? Why? Oh, no! Dude, we have to tell Shabibi. Oh, no, no, no. no then Shabibi will know I opened my Christmas gifts early. How many more lives do we have to lose? Oh, you're right. Let's go tell Shabibi. <laughs> Shabibi! <laughs> ah! You send me. Ah! He's gonna kill by the elf. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show that stupid brat for opening his Christmas gifts early. Hey, do you have that 20 bucks you were gonna give me for helping you fake this? After we're finished! Come on, I'm not done yet. I wanna scare him a little more. Well, he seems pretty scared to me. No, I'm not done. I got some more ideas. You know, I could be out saving lives right now. Come on, giving a speedy ticket is not saving lives. Yeah, you're right. All right, what do you wanna do next? Ah, Joseph! What did Chef Pee Pee say? Chef Pee Pee just got killed by the elf. No! What do we do? There's nothing else we can do, Junior. Well, we cut him into pieces. We threw him in the trash can. We called the cops. <laughs> wait, wait. We have to tell Santa. What? Tell Santa? Yeah, the elf works for Santa, so maybe Santa can discipline him. You're right. That's one of Santa's elves. So it's Santa's responsibility to take care of his rogue elves. So how do we call Santa? <laughs> you can't call Santa, stupid. <laughs> he, he doesn't have a phone. He's like the plug. You have to write him a letter. <gasps> You're right. Let's write Santa a letter. Uh, where, where do we write the letter to? Uh, We have to send it to China. What? Yeah, yeah, because the North Pole is in China. All the toys come from China. That's right. That, that's why all the toys say made in China. Yeah. <gasps> okay, okay, let's write Santa a letter. All right, dude, I wrote the letter. Dear Santa. One of your elves gone crazy. Please help. Also, two years ago, you gave me coal. Why did you do that? Not cool, bruh. Next time you do that, we fighting on oh, God. How's that? That's perfect, Joseph. Thanks, bro. I really got the message across. Yeah, I think you did, too. All right, I'm gonna go put this in the mailbox. Okay, dude. Ugh, okay. I hope it gets to Santa quick. All right, Joseph. I put the letter in the mailbox. Ah! Ah! How'd you get this out of the mailbox? Joseph, Joseph, are you okay? No, dude. I'm dead. No! What can I do? What can I do to stop this? I'm sorry! Ooh, ooh, you finally asked the magical question! What magical question? What can you do to fix this? 
<laughs> yes, yes, what can I do to fix this? Oh, I could bring all your friends back to life, but all you have to do is be a good boy until Christmas. Ooh, okay, okay, I can be a good boy. Uh, all you have to do is clean up. Yeah, clean up the entire kitchen. No, the entire house. And 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 make sure that you give Chef Pee Pee back rubs. Don't be a bad little boy. Don't be a total brat. Okay, okay I, I won't be a brat. I'll do whatever Chef Pee Pee says. Yeah, now go in your room and count to 30. And when you get done counting, uh, go to the kitchen and start cleaning. Okay. And everything will be back to normal. Okay, okay, I'll go to my room and count to 30. <laughs> I totally got him! Oh, Chef Pee Pee, you're really gonna give me $20 for faking this? Yes, Joseph, yes, I'll give you $20. <laughs> Thanks so much for cleaning the kitchen and being a good boy, Junior! Yeah, you know, I'm just being nice and cleaning on my own. I know, I know, but remember, the elf is watching you, so keep cleaning or he'll kill you. Oh, I know, I know! Hey, Junior, I changed my shorts. What'd I miss? Oh, um, I made a deal with the elf that he won't kill me because he, he killed Joseph and he killed a cop, so I have to keep cleaning or he'll kill me. What? Hey, Daddy, I got my report card. Are there any Fs on your report card? Um, no. Are you lying? No, there's no Fs on it. Because, Jeffy, if there's a single F on that report card, we're not taking you to Disney World. All right, well, check this out. Boom. Not a single F on this report card. All D's, Daddy. It stands for Disneyland, 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 Disneyland. Jeffy, all D's is not good. Yeah, but it's still passing, Marvin. There are no Fs on his report card. But D's are bad. D's are passing. And D's are my nuts in your mouth. Ugh, how old are you? Old enough to have my nuts in your mouth. <sighs> good one, Daddy. Right, Jeffy, look. I guess if there's no Fs, we'll still take you to Disney World. <gasps> really, Daddy? I'm gonna go pack my stuff right now! But you have to get better grades next time! Marvin, I don't think we have enough money for all three of us to go. You're right. We're really poor right now. I think we can buy two tickets. Okay, I think you and Jeffy should go so you can have a father-son trip. I guess you're right. Me and Jeffy haven't spent a lot of time together. I'll go buy two tickets to Disney World. Okay. All right, baby. I got me and Jeffy two tickets to Disney World. Aw, you and Jeffy are going to have so much fun. Yeah, I hope so. Jeffy, are you ready to go? Yeah, dang. Sure I am. Jeffy, what is that? Oh, it's Tomater without the tub. No, not Tomater. It's a mask. What are you wearing? Oh, it's the piglet mask I found in your closet. Marvin! What? Where did you get that? I've never seen that mask before in my life. Jeffy, take the piglet mask off. No, I want to wear it in Disneyland on all the rides. You can't wear that on the rides in Disneyland. You, you gotta take it off. Well, I gotta show Winnie the Pooh his best friend Piglet. He already knows his best friend Piglet. Look, you gotta take that mask off right now. No, Dad, I want to wear the Piglet mask. Take it off, Jeffy. Look, you can you can take Tomato, you just can't take the mask. Oh, okay, Dad. Oink, oink. So, Marvin, are we going to talk about the piggy mask? We're not going to talk about the piggy mask. Okay. All right, Daddy. I'm ready to go in Disneyland. All right, Jeffy. Grab your ticket to Disney World and let's go. What? Grab your ticket to Disney World. Disney World? I didn't want to go to Disney World. I wanted to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland and Disney World are the same thing. No, they're not. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, they're basically the same place. Uh, no, you're not. Because Disney World is the world of Disney, and Disneyland is the land of Disney, and I've never been to Disneyland, so that's where I want to go. Jeffy, if you've been to Disney World, there's no reason to ever go to Disneyland. Disney World is bigger. It has Epcot and Hollywood Studios and everything. I don't care. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland land is all the way on the other side of the country in California. We live in Florida. Disney World is in Florida, so we need to go to Disney World. I don't care how far Disneyland is. I want to go there because I've never been there. Jeffy, I already bought tickets to Disney World. These tickets only work at Disney World, so we're going to Disney World. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me look real quick. They're only good at Disney World. I already read it. Well, right here, it says that it's good for Disneyland or Disney World. It doesn't say that. Yeah, it says it right here. It does not say that. It does, it does not say that. Oh, you want me to lie and say that the tickets are for Disney World, not Disney... L oh, mm -hmm. I've already heard you. You just don't want to take me to Disneyland because you think I'm ugly. Oh, no, Jeffy, you're precious. Oh, no, 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 no. Disney World doesn't think you're ugly. Disneyland thinks you're ugly, so we don't want to go to Disneyland. If you don't take me to Disneyland, I'm going to get all Fs on my report card and wear the piggy mask to school every day. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Okay, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Okay, we'll go to Disneyland. We're going to go to Disneyland. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to buy plane tickets. God, we have to fly to California. I'm afraid of flying, baby. Can you just go with them? Oh, no, Marvin. I have a bunch of appointments. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm going to buy the plane tickets. Let's just go to the airport, Jeffrey. We're going to Disneyland. Yeah! Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. 
Hey, Danny. What, Jeffy? What do you want? Gook, come gook out the window. No, I'm not going to gook out the window. I'm afraid of heights. Hey, Mr. What doing? What, Jeffy, leave the passengers alone. <gasps> you have peanuts? Can I have some of your peanuts? No. Oh, man. Danny, can you give me some peanuts? The guy behind you said I had to get my own. I'll ask the flight attendant. Just shut up, Jeffy. Because if I could get some peanuts right now, that would be the bomb. What, Jeffy, you cannot say that. What? You can't say bomb. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes? I got a complaint from another passenger that said that you were threatening the plane with a bomb. What? No, 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 no. My son said bomb, and I told him not to say bomb. See, you just said it again. What? No, 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 no. I was just saying what not to say. See, now you're saying it so much, I'm thinking maybe you got one up your butt and you want to use it. What? No! Hey, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. No, 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 I am calm. I just don't like planes. Oh, you don't like planes, so you want to get rid of it. What? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't like flying. You don't like flying, so you want to force the plane down. Oh, no, 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 no. You're being ridiculous. Sir, if you don't calm down, I'm gonna have to strap you to the seat. I am calm! Alright, that was pretty rowdy. I'm gonna have to strap you down. This is ridiculous! Alright, sir, when we land, we're gonna untie you and we're gonna give you a cavity, sir. This is so stupid! Danny, how'd you get an extra seat belt? Jeffy, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Come over here, I'll kill you! Breaking news, okay? A plane was forced to make an emergency landing after a man threatened the plane with a bomb. Marvin! Sit down there, you! Marvin, what is going on? Well, Jeffy had to- Quiet, I'll tell you what's going on. Your husband threatened a plane with a bomb. <laughs> stop, stop, it's ridiculous, get it out! Well, look, Jeffy wanted peanuts on the airplane, and Jeffy said if he got peanuts, it would be the bomb. And I said, Jeffy, don't say bomb. And then he heard me say bomb, and then he stuck his hand up my butt looking for a bomb. See, officer, it was just a mistake! No, 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 nobody says bomb on a plane unless they have one. What if the person's flying to Bombay? What did you just say? Get down, let me check your butt again! Well, I don't have a bomb in my butt! That's exactly what somebody with a bomb would say! Officer, what is going to happen. Well, your husband's on a no-fly list, which means he can never fly on a plane ever again. Well, I'm afraid of flying, so I don't care. So, are we still going to Disneyland? Oh, we're not going to Disneyland after this. <laughs> Oh, I hate crying people. Like, whenever I arrest somebody and they're like, that's not mine. You just planted that in my car. I saw you. And it's like, I had to plant it there because I had to meet my arrest quota. Jeez. Anyway, I don't want to see you on a plane ever again, buddy. You hear that, little man? Oh, stop, stop poking me. Boop. But don't, don't boot my nose. <sighs> So how are we going to get to Disneyland? Look, Jeffy, look, we we can just drive Disneyland, but it's going to take like three days, so we'll leave tomorrow. Okay, good. All right. Marvin, I'm hungry. Can you take me somewhere nice? Well, baby, I just got put on a no-fly list. Do you think I want to go to a restaurant? Come on, somewhere nice. I can see if we can get a reservation to Harry Housen's. Harry Housen's? But it's impossible to get a reservation! Not. For googly bear. Let's go, baby. Okay, can I come? Ha ha, please, please, please. What? No, you're not gonna go with us. You never take me anywhere. You're a dumb friend. Marvin, how did you get us a reservation at Harry Housen's? I didn't. We're just sitting at a random table. Marvin, what if they kick us out? Baby, they're not gonna kick us out. We're already sitting here. Excuse me, but unfortunately, we are closing in five minutes. Aww. Oh, no, no, baby, don't worry. Look, we already know what we want. Can we just order? <sighs> what can I get you? Baby, hurry up and look at the menu. Okay, let me see. Oh, Marvin, I can't see it from here. Just order uh, sushi and chocolate cake. Okay, uh, do you guys have sushi? We are now closing in four minutes. Oh, no, 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 I know we want. Uh, can we get the, the dynamite roll? Okay. And then can I get the, the chocolate cake? Chocolate cake, sir? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's right here. I don't believe we have a chocolate cake on the menu. Well, yes, 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 you do. It, it, it's right here. It says chocolate cake. Uh, read it. Oh, you must be referring to the chocolate smothered calamari. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Th that's up here. We're talking about the chocolate cake under desserts. Mm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't have my reading glasses. You'll have to read it for me. It, it says chocolate cake. Don't you know the menu? No, oh, I'm sorry. We change the menu every day. Marvin, just order the chocolate cake. <sighs> okay. Can I please get the the chocolate bomb cake? Bomb! Bomb! This man claims to have a bomb! Evacuate the building! What? No! No! It was a chocolate bomb cake! Freeze! You're under arrest! Wait, it's you again? Now you're threatening a restaurant with a bomb? What? Officer, it's just a misunderstanding! Yeah, I was just trying to order food off the menu. It says chocolate bomb cake. See, see, right there. Yeah, but the waiter said you also tried to order the dynamite roll. Why are you only ordering explosive menu items? <laughs> She wanted sushi, and the only sushi was the dynamite roll, and she wanted chocolate cake, and the only chocolate cake was the chocolate bomb cake. I was just trying to order the cake. But earlier, you threatened a plane with a bomb, so why did you think you should be ordering explosive menu items? You could have ordered literally anything else on the menu, like the like the Lady Baltimore cake, whatever the hell that is, or the, or the buttercorn pudding, huh? Why not that? Or the... 
Oh my god, look at these prices. Jesus Christ, I should be arresting the owners for robbery. Oh my god, wait, special shrimp stir fry? Oh, hold on, scoot over. I mean, I'm gonna arrest you, but I mean, a man's gotta eat. I'm hungry. Uh, what's in the special shrimp stir fry? Waiter, I need a waiter. Excuse me. Can an officer get some goddamn service over here? You know, protect and serve? Wait, wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right, they evacuated the building because of the bomb. The bomb! That's right, you're under arrest. Now bend over so I can check your butt. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're not allowed outside anymore. You're under house arrest. House arrest? Why? Because you won't stop talking about bombs. You already threatened a restaurant and a plane. I can't trust you. This whole thing's a misunderstanding. And I'm getting real tired of sticking my hand up your butt. I'm gonna have to start wearing gloves because I'm getting tired of cleaning my fingernails. Well, I was just trying to order food at the restaurant. It's called Chocolate Bomb Key. That's what it was called. My nose itches. Oh, God, your house stinks. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's not your house. It's your ass. What? Ew. Oh, God. Wait, wash your hands! Wash your ass. What? It's gross. No, don't wipe it on me! Why? It's your stink. It's your ass. Ew, can stop it! <sighs> Ugh, this whole thing was a misunderstanding. What can I do to stop all this? Well, if you could get a witness that could testify that you weren't really talking about a bomb, then I guess I could let you go. Well, my, my son Jeffy, he knows this whole thing started over peanuts. He knows I wasn't talking about bombs. Okay, well, if you can get him to tell me you weren't talking about bombs, then I'll leave you alone. Okay, let me go get my son. No, 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 no. I can't leave you alone with him. You might threaten him to make him say that. You're gonna have to bring him here. Okay, baby, can you send Jeffy a text? What do you want me to do? Send a text. Send text? Like the explosive? What? No, no, I said send a text. I heard send text. Can you send a text message to Jeffy and tell him to come here? Okay. You're, you're crazy. Like, you're going crazy. No, I think you're crazy. So I'm going to give you a psychological test, okay? Now, how many fingers am I holding up? Not my thumb. Not your thumb? Yeah, how many fingers do you see? I see four. See four? Like the bomb? I'm going to check your blood again. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Ew! Oh man, would you like not wipe? What's going on? I don't expect someone to give me a cavity search. I'm not prepared. So you're just sitting like that? Doesn't it itch? Hey, no! Well, oh, hey, Jeffy, tell the officer. No, 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 no! Let me ask him. I don't want you like stringing him along or something. Okay, Jeffy, I have a few questions for you. So, like, do you guys not own toilet paper? What's going on here? What did I ask about the peanuts? Ah, the bombs, right? Okay. So, Jeffy, now, has your father ever said anything about hating planes? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't like planes. Shh, I'm afraid of flying. Shh, 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 shh. Now, Jeffy, do you think your father would like it if all the planes just exploded? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, no, I, I don't like planes. Like, I don't quiet, like flying. Quiet. Now, Jeffy, does your father have a lot of gasoline somewhere? Yeah, in his car. Oh, really? All cars have gas in them. Then why don't you get a Tesla? Well, because because they're expensive. Oh, really? All right, Jeffy, I have one more question for you. Now, is this whole thing actually just about you wanting peanuts? Yeah, because I wanted peanuts, and I asked my dad for some, and I said if I got some peanuts, it would be the bomb. Oh, the bomb, yes, like a good yes. thing. Yeah, yes, it's like a good thing, like, like oh, those are the bomb. Oh, well, don't I feel silly. Well, yeah, it's a big misunderstanding, so you understand it now? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I understand, you're free to go. Well, I'm free to go! Wait a minute, unless he's in on it, and you actually do have something up your butt that I didn't find the first three times. Well, no, there's nothing up my butt. Okay, I'll make you a deal. Let me search your butt one more time, and if I don't find anything other than dingleberries, right. you're free to go. What? <laughs> No, there's nothing on my butt! Marvin, don't you want this to be over? Yeah, your ass is on the line. <sighs> okay, fine, do it one more time. Yes! All right, I didn't find anything, so you're free to go. And I went up to the elbow this time. Thank God it's over. Joe, when are we leaving for Disneyland, Daddy? We're not going to Disneyland! Guess what, Simmons? You owe me a hundred bucks. No way, mate. Yep, that's right. You bet me that I couldn't get the same guy to let me give him a cavity search four times in one day, and I did it. So smell it and weep. Oh, God, here, take your hundred and leave. Oh. <laughs> Jeffy, it's time for your yearly ear cleaning. Oh, boy. Marvin, do you want to help? I'm not going to help you clean Jeffy's ears. That's so gross. It's not that bad, Marvin. It's like digging for cheese. Digging for cheese. Come on, Mommy. These ears aren't going to clean themselves. Why do you have so many Q-tips? Because we're going to need them all. Come here, Jeffy. All right, Mommy. Now, remember, go really, really deep in there. I want you to touch the brain. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds so gross. Look, look the other way. I don't want to see that. Mm -mm. Ew, what is that? Mm -mm. Ew! Ah! What is that? Oh, that's what you call a cheese stick. It's a rare delicacy. <laughs> Daddy, that's so gross! That's so gross! Oh my god! Okay, we're done with the ear cleans. We don't have to clean any more ears. But Marvin, I still have to do the other one! No, no, we're not cleaning any more ears. We're, we're done with that. Who's at the door? Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. And don't touch his ears. Hello? Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? Hey, Marvin, I wanted to come by and show you my Halloween costume. But it's not Halloween anymore. I know. What? Scary, huh? See, for me, this is a Halloween costume. But for you, 
This is reality. Let's go over it, shall we? Didn't pay July, didn't pay August, didn't pay September, didn't pay October. Shall we go for November? Well, I, 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 see, I can't deposit that into my bank account. Well, I just need more time. Oh, you need more time? Oh, I'm so sorry, I completely understand. How about if you don't pay the last four months and this month in the next hour, your bald ass is gonna be living on the street. But what about my family? Oh, I'm gonna live with your family and then call me Papa Goodman. Look, it's impossible to get all that money by tonight. Well, I thought it was impossible for someone not to pay their house payment for four months, but hey, anything's possible. Possible. You prove that, buddy. Here. Uh, okay. One hour. Actually, 30 minutes. What? I'm gonna go get a snow cone for my balls because they ache so bad. Uh, uh. All right, Jeffy, all done. Oh, sweet. Check out my cheese collection. I got cheese sticks and cheese lollipops. Uh. Hey, Daddy, you want any of my cheese? No! All right, well, I'm just gonna go to my room and eat this. Uh. What's wrong, Marvin? I'm four months past due on the house payment. What? How did you get so far behind? You know, because money's hard to get and we owe a lot of it. Well, how much do you have? Let me check. I have a dollar and sixty cents. How much do you have? Hmm. I have a hundred. Well, that's something. Well, do you think he'll accept this and give us more time? No. He wants the last four months of payment and this much payment, or he's gonna kick me out on the street. Oh my god! Wait, just you? Wait, wait yeah, just me, but you'll live on the street with me, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, where am I gonna get that money at? Well, why don't you go to the bank and ask for a loan? Because Goodman owns the bank. He's not gonna give me a loan to pay my other loan. Yeah, I guess so. I have to go to like a loan shark or something. Marvin, that's dangerous! I have to do it for my family! <sighs> where am I gonna find a loan shark? Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. I'm looking for a loan shark. Well, I'm a lone dolphin, so I'm nicer than a loan shark. I mean, I'll still break your kneecaps, but I won't eat you like sharks do. Well, I need a loan. How much do you need? I need $10,000. Ooh, that's a lot of gravy. Do you have the mashed potatoes for that gravy? Well, what does mashed potatoes mean? Never mind. I don't even have that much money. I got robbed. You got robbed? Yeah, they even ripped my leather jacket. I'm pretty upset about it. They stole everything. In fact, the only thing they didn't steal is this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Probably because it weighs a ton. It's a good, good gold machine. It literally makes gold. It makes gold? Yeah. Anything you put in there, it turns it to gold. But why would you try to get rid of this? Because well, it's super illegal. I could get the electric chair just for having this, so I just want to get it off my hands. Or my fins. Well, okay, I'll buy it. How much is it? It is uh, $101.60. That's exactly how much I have in my wallet. Well, great. That means you can afford it. <laughs> All right, there it is, right there. All right, now you can just take this, and I hope you can lug it home. Oh, you okay? All right, baby, all our problems are solved. You got the money? No, even better, I bought a good, good, good gold machine. What? Well, yeah, it's a good, good gold machine. Uh, whatever you put inside it turns to gold. How much money did you spend on this, Marvin? All the money we had left. What? You spent our money on a scam? Well, no, no, it's not a scam. Yeah, apparently, whatever you put inside turns to gold. That's impossible. Well, wait, you, you, know, you haven't seen it work yet. Uh, neither have I, but, 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 but look, look, put the TV remote in there, and it'll turn into a gold brick. If this doesn't work, I want a divorce. Oh, like it's, it's gonna work. It's a, it's a g -g gold machine with tinfoil on it. Oh, hold on, let, let, me, let me turn it on. Um, uh, I, think that, I think that's how that works, and, and that, and... <laughs> oh... Oh, you hear it working? Oh, I think it's gold time. I think it's divorce time. Oh, no, 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 what did I do wrong? Oh, baby, look at me. I forgot to plug it in. I'm such a silly goose. Plug it in, Marvin. <laughs> All right, baby, it's plugged in. Now we wait. Marvin, I can't believe you spent our last little bit of money on a scam. We're gonna be out on the street. Jeffy won't have a home. We won't be able to afford food. Now we're gonna sleep. Christmas is around the corner. Hold that thought, baby. It's done. Marvin, I'm leaving you. Let's see what's inside. It's gold. It worked, baby. What? It works? Yeah, look, it's gold. Marvin, you're a genius. I know I am. I knew that guy was trustworthy. Baby, we have so much gold. Look, go outside. Grab rocks. Grab leaves. Grab whatever trash you can. We're going to turn it into gold. We're going to be billionaires. Okay, we're going to be rich. Oh, my God. All right. We put a bunch of junk in there. Wait, what's that note? That was my goodbye letter to you when we were getting a divorce, but we don't need that now. That sounds good to me. All right, start making that gold. Oh, we're going to be so rich, baby. Okay, baby. It's done. Let's look at all the gold. Look at all that gold! Marvin, we're so rich! We're not gonna lose the house now! Yeah, I have enough to pay Goodman. 
That must be him. All right, all right, baby, help me grab all this gold and take it to him. But wait, Marvin, you don't owe him that much. But I want to pay off the house, and I want to give him money to never bother me again. Okay. Well, let's go. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Marvin, I'm here for my house payment. Well, we got it right here in gold. Jesus Christ, where'd you get all that gold? Uh, uh my, my grandmother was a gold digger, and I just inherited all her money. Wow, seems like a nice lady. Well, yeah, so look, we want to give you all this gold so we can pay off my house, and you never talk to me ever again. Okay. All right, here you go, so just take that. Yeah, you take that. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Mommy, Daddy, I'm done with my cheese. Mommy, Daddy, where you at? <gasps> what is this? Oh, a bunch of teleportation machines. I wonder if it'll take me to Disney World. <gasps> Let me find out. Gotta check the Disney World. I'll go right now. All right, let's get in. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, I can't believe I just paid off the house. I know, Marvin, you'll never have to deal with Goodman again. I know, let's make out on top of the machine. Marvin, the machine's on. Did you turn it on? No. Well, hold on. What the? What in the? Oh my God, Marvin, it's Jeffy. What? Oh my God, baby, I, I think Jeffy crawled in the machine and turned himself into gold. Marvin, turn him back. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Marvin, I want Jeffy back. Oh, baby, 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 listen, we're billionaires. We don't need Jeffy anymore. Let's just act like he didn't exist. Marvin, turn Jeffy back to normal right now. Oh, okay, look, I, I don't know how to do it, but look, I'll go ask the guy I bought it from and see if he knows how to work it, okay? Just hold on. Marvin, where'd you be? Hey, I have a problem with you. Hey, man, you can eat it, so it's not all bad. What? What? Wait, why are you mad? That machine turned my son into gold. Oh, and you're not mad about anything else? No, is there something else I should be mad about? No, 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 don't worry about it. I mean, I can't help you. But... Wait, no, 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 your machine turned my son into gold, so you're gonna help me change him back. Well, you can't change him back. It just turns things into gold, and I already got rid of my turn gold into people machine. You had a turn gold into people machine? Yeah, but I sold it to a guy who was rich, but very lonely. Well, I need your help. I want my son back to normal, so help me change him back. I mean, I don't know. You could, like, call a dentist or something. What's a dentist gonna do about my son turning gold? Well, you know, they, they give people gold teeth, so maybe they could give your son not gold teeth, and then turn him into not gold. I don't know, I'm a dolphin, I don't know these things. <sighs> I guess I'll call a dentist and give it a shot. Okay. <sighs> Uh, all right, baby, I'm back. Did you just make gold? Yes, Marvin, I was stressed out. What did the guy say? He said I have to call a dentist. Hmm, yeah, you do need to start flossing more. Not for me, for Jeffy! Well, what's a dentist gonna do? I don't know, but I'm, I'm gonna do what the guy said. I'm gonna call a dentist. Hey there, you call a dentist? Yes, I did, so my son- No, 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 hold on. I wrote a song about teeth I want you to hear. Check this out. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, don't get cavities. Floss em, floss em, floss em, floss em, don't get cavities. I wrote that, that's all me. That's great! Thanks! Well, wasn't that just row, row, row your boat? Okay, okay, smart guy, check this one out, how about this? Uh, the teeth in your mouth get brush, brush, brushed, brush, brush, brushed, brush, brush, brushed. The teeth in your mouth get brush, brush, brushed, don't get cavities. Aw, I like that one too! Yeah. Well, wasn't that just wheels on the bus go round and round? Okay, you're really starting to piss me off. Okay, how, how about this one, huh? How about this one? Uh, uh, the itsy bitsy tooth in your mouth got brushed by the... Don't get cavities. Wait, wasn't that just the itsy bitsy spider? It was gonna be until you started judging me and you made me mess up. Look, what do you want? You get a cavity of some shit? Because I'll poke it. I'm a dentist. That's what I do. I poke your gums until they bleed and then I blame you for not flossing. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, listen. My son got turned into gold and I need you to turn him back into a human. Okay, hold, hold on there, Chief. I, I need you to explain everything you just said in detail because I don't get it. Oh, okay, listen, listen. I bought this machine that, put, that turns whatever you put inside it into gold and my son got inside it and he got turned into gold gold, so now I want you to turn him back into a human. And you thought a dentist could help with this problem? Well, yeah, see, look, you're a dentist, and you turn people's teeth into gold, so maybe you could turn his gold teeth into normal teeth. Uh, okay, okay, two problems. One, his teeth are the only part of him that are not gold, and two, what the hell are you talking about? You like some kind of goofball or something? Well, no, look, I just need your help, because look, this machine makes gold, and I want my son to be turned back into a human, and I, I just don't know what to do. No, 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 hold on. You're telling me that this machine turns normal things into gold? Yeah, whatever you put in this machine turns into gold. So, so those are real gold bars? Yes. What? You guys are billionaires! Yeah, we have all this money, but like, we just want to turn my son back to normal. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so, I, oh, okay, I think what I have to do is I need to take this machine home, and then I, I can study it, so that I can uh, re re reverse the gold thing. You want to take this machine home? Yes, that I, I have to do that to help your son. Yes. Well, what if you're just trying to steal it? No, steal it! Come on, I, I wouldn't do that. I'm a dentist. I don't. I don't need to steal. I I make decent money. You know, I don't need billions of dollars in gold, so I never have to work again. No, I like being a dentist. I like writing copyright songs that that just make the lawsuits stack up. That's my life. That's that's what I do. I like that.
Well, I don't feel comfortable with you taking this machine home. Okay, I guess you just want your son to be a gold statue for the rest of his life. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. Give me this goddamn thing! Oh, no, no, no. Get back! Get back! Get back. You're, not, you're not taking it! Leave! Oh, you can leave! Go! Get out of my house now! Come on, man! Share the wealth! You don't need all that gold! You're a dentist. You have a lot of money. Leave! No, no, no! no. Come on! What if I sing you one more tooth song? Then will you give me some gold? No! Come on! Right off the dome! Listen! Listen, listen to this! Um, Twinkle! Twinkle! Little tooth! You're shiny because I brushed you! Don't get cavities! I'm gonna get that gold machine if it's the last thing I do! <sighs> Marvin, how are we gonna turn Jeffy back? I don't know, but baby, I've had a long day. I'm really tired, so how about we go to sleep, and then tomorrow we cash in our gold, go buy a mansion in Hawaii, and then we can work on Jeffy then. Okay. Let's go to bed. <sighs> Good night, Marvin. Good night, baby. When we wake up, we're gonna be filthy, stinking rich. And we're gonna fix Jeffy, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that too. Okay, I'm gonna break into this house, I'm gonna steal that gold machine, I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of gold, and then I'm gonna divorce my wife. Wait, no, 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 that's not right. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal the machine, I'm gonna take it home, and then I'm gonna divorce my wife, and then make a bunch of gold so she can't get any money from me in the divorce settlement. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Now we just have to break in. Uh, maybe they leave the door unlocked? No, it's locked, that's not gonna work. Wait, what's this? Um... Oh, you need a passcode. Uh, what would somebody do, like, one, two, three, four? Is that good? Um, no, it's locked. Uh, how about, uh, one, two, five, six? What? No way, really? Oh my god, I'm a genius! Okay, now I just gotta close the door really quietly. Uh, oh man, I tripped. I think we're good. Now I just gotta get up these stairs. Why are these stairs so creaky? They're carpet. Okay, there it is. Come the papa. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. Okay, I just gotta get it down the stairs, into my car, and then I'm rich. Oh! Oh, oh god, I'm gonna break my back carrying this thing. Oh, I gotta go down all those stairs? Oh, guy, stop complaining. If you pull this off, you're gonna be a billionaire. Yeah, I'm gonna be a billionaire! Hold on, let me go see. Oh, that's not good, that's not good. That's not supposed to be like that. Uh, hey, a robber! Hey, a homeowner! See, I can state obvious facts, too. Well, I, I'm gonna call the cops! Well, guess what, buddy? Hold on, I, I got a big surprise for you. Just g give me a second. This thing is it's pretty on here, and it... Uh, I am a cop! Well, hey, you, you, you are a cop! Why'd you break into my house? Because I was trying to steal your gold machine! Well, you broke! It. Yeah, well now no one gets it. That's what you get for not sharing. Well, that, that is it. I am gonna call your, your chief of police, and I'm gonna say that you're a robber, and you're gonna get fired. No, 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 you, you don't have to do that. Uh, look, what, what if I turn your son back to normal, huh? What about that? You can't turn my son back to normal. Yeah, yeah I can, because uh, gold melts at 2,000 degrees, so you could just put him in the oven and then melt him out, right? Well, my oven does not go to 2,000 degrees. Oh, yeah, sure it does. Come on, I'll show you. <sighs> Yeah, see, we just press bake, and it's already at 350 degrees. It can definitely do 2,000 degrees. See? Here we go. 400. Ooh, we're almost at 500. This thing cannot do 2,000 degrees. Yeah, it can. Look, we're already a quarter of the way there. Wait, what? Oh, I guess the highest it can do is 550 degrees. I told you it couldn't do 2,000 degrees. No, look, it's fine. We just put him in there four times. You really think this oven can melt the gold off my son's body? Yeah, of course it can. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll just put him in there. A-U, get in the oven. Y you get it? A-U? Because that's the periodic table symbol for gold. It's A-U. Oh, okay, I get it. I'm going to put him in the oven. Okay, he's in there. All right, now we just got to come back in about 10 minutes, and your son's going to be A-OK. -okay. okay. All right, Marvin, you ready to see your son again? There's no way this is actually going to work. Check it out. Ah! What, Jeffy? See, I told you it would turn your son back to normal. Well, yeah, Daddy, I was trapped inside chocolate. You were trapped inside chocolate? Wait, look at this. There's little pieces of gold inside the chocolate. Wait, I'm so confused. Why is it chocolate? Wait a minute. I don't think that machine turned things into gold. I think it turned things into chocolate with a gold wrapper on it. Wait, wait, so it doesn't actually make gold? No, it just makes chocolate that looks like gold. Oh no, I, I just paid somebody using that gold. Oh, well maybe he won't notice. Uh, oh no, uh, hello? 
You think this is funny? Okay, Goodman, look, I did not know the gold was chocolate. And I didn't know I could fit an entire jar of pickles up my ass, but here we are. Oh, no, no, Goodman, I promise it was a big misunderstanding. Well, fortunately for you, I actually like chocolate. And I like it so much, and I thought this was such a funny joke, I'll give you to the end of next week to get the money. Wait, really? Yep, go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs>